Oh, yo, um, R.I.P. Alex Trebek, first of all. But hey, guys, what's going on? Hello, my friend. Adrian's coronavirus. Spicy toothpaste. Reaper Games. What's going on, everybody? Good to see everybody today. I'm only here because you guys asked me to be here today. This is a pretty boring order. Same thing as always over and over. Um, but, but you asked for it, so here we are. We're going to do it. A bunch of script t-shirts. Script, script, script littering. Um, it's going to be a much shorter stream than, than it have been in the past. I've been going two and a half hours at a time the last couple of days. And that's not going to happen today. Um, it's going to be like a like 45 minutes probably. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. You're my idol and airbrush. Good to see everybody here. I'm a little, a tiny little monitor. Need some clips, need some clips. So it looks like a birthday party going on here for this, this order. Bunch of shirts with names on them. Everyone's matching. Hello, Sophia. These are all on the front, correct? Front, 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 yes. Medium at the end. I'm almost done getting set up, guys. We'll get to going. Oh, I'll tell you guys before I tell anybody else because you guys are here first and watching. I painted two. I, I painted two of these, um, but I did this because Among Us has been very popular and uh, requested of me a lot. I painted this shirt. I'm making a video of it, and I'm gonna give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. And to um, whoever wants it. We'll do the same rules as this canvas. Yes, I'm doing a lot of giveaways. I'm not giving away stuff just so that you guys like me. I'm giving it away because well, after I paint it, I don't need it anymore and I want someone to enjoy it. So um, we'll do that. And it only cost me like five bucks to ship it. The cost is, is nothing. I'd rather somebody have it and it'd be cool. Um, this is the, the premiere of my potential little simple tag that I'm doing. Dale, um, it's kind of a... a a sloppy one. There's another one there. Um, maybe I'll just give away both of these because um, whatever. But yeah, we're going to do a lot of giveaways. I'm going to try to paint trending topics and stuff so that I can get on the, the trending page on YouTube more often. Um, and it'll be fun. Can I have it? 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 Let's. I'll, I'm going to keep on brainstorming a good way to fairly give it to people. Right now, I have, I haven't posted it yet, so don't get excited yet, but um, I'm going to, this one I'll just post on Instagram again, just like the canvas that I did the other day, and I'll pick a winner from that. Uh, later we'll have like a sign up or we'll, we'll do something a little fancier, but at the moment we'll just, we'll just give it away to somebody. <clears throat> um, I'm going to have to limit these giveaways to US only, unfortunately, because it costs 25 bucks to ship that overseas and I just can't, I can't do that. Not yet, not yet, soon, soon. If we get successful enough on this channel, no problem. How was my day? My day is good today. I started it by recording videos, editing videos. Airheads Assemble Spicy Toothpaste was here yesterday. I still need to make those custom emojis for everybody. Um, have a good night, good night, man. Have I ever been to Portugal? I wish I would go to Portugal. I'd go everywhere. I have not. Out of the country, I've only been to Canada. Um, Hawaii doesn't count, but it's kind of out of the country. What's up? I keep forgetting this mirrors here. Let's get started on these orders real quick, unless there's anything. Let's get started on these orders. This one is Unique, the rest of them are all the same. Really, they're really similar. Star, S-T-A-R-R -R, with two R's. Again, these are simple. But they're fun to, they're, they're fun to paint. They're satisfying to watch. 
they're just as satisfying to paint. And this one gets a crown and the other ones don't. Really, that's the only difference here. Doing my typical five-pointed crown that everybody yells at me for. Not everybody, but apparently it's a it's a thing or something. I do it because it's symmetrical and easy, not because I'm a, I'm a gangster. My family lives there. What airbrush do I use? <laughs> Good night from India. Yeah, I know it's like 1.30 in the morning over there. The airbrush I use, these are Omni 3000 airbrushes by Thayer and Chandler. S-A-N-A-Y-A. Other good airbrushes to use, you don't have to get these. A Master Airbrush. I did another uh, review video on their Master Airbrush. The S62, I think it is. Looks just like this. It acts just like this. It's 35 bucks. Um, go pick one up. There's a link in. I need to make sure, I keep on saying this, I need to make sure it's in the description here on these live streams. I don't think it is. Um, but I have a, a link somewhere to a Facebook, uh, Facebook and Instagram, on it, an Amazon shop with everything that you need to get started airbrushing. And you can get those those things quickly from Amazon. All right, I need this over here. C Millie, C dash M I L L E Y Y. These are some names, guys. M I L L E Y Y. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really. We're gonna come back and color all these in later. Sophia, I have been doing this for 12 years. Um, 12, 13, 10, 11, I don't know. Somewhere around there. Chrissy D, C-H-R-I-S-S-Y. Guys, I say these names out loud so that it gets into a different part of my brain and I spell them correctly while I'm painting them. Uh, especially if I'm talking like I am right now while I'm painting. For some reason, saying, spelling it out loud just just puts it in the right part of my brain to hold on to it while I'm thinking about other things. CD. Next one on this large shirt is Sierra. C I A R A. technical difficulty. I know this is an Airbus channel, but can you please react to JSU 2019 merch? I don't even know what that is. I bet we started airbrushing at a similar age, probably. I was uh, just finishing high school. How do you control the shade so perfect? I'm an airbrush artist myself. I can't seem to get the shading down. Still practicing, greatest tip. Everything, the most important skill to learn when you're airbrushing comes down to your trigger control. You really can't tell unless you're an airbrush artist and you know what to look for, but my f everything comes down to how far I'm pulling back this trigger. And when I'm starting and stopping these shadowing lines, I'm gonna make sure this is in focus, my finger is moving literally this much. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but that's what I'm, you have to have excellent trigger control in order to, to do that. And I'm starting and stopping shadowing letters and there's a technique you want to do s-h-i-a you don't want to shadow the whole letter i don't i like to stop my shadow like this i'll do it in slow motion i start a shadow i let go i start a new shadow i let go 
And what that does, especially if you have a long word with a lot of letters in it, um, it prevents the, the word from getting all muddied up. If you put too many shadows in there, then it gets too busy, it's hard to read. So if you take your time and only put shadows where they make sense, where they're not gonna add confusion, you'll have a lot more clear of a design. This is an interesting one. Murgy Beats, M-I-R-G-Y, capital B-E-A-T-Z. All right, again with the shadow, there's a lot of text going on here. I'm gonna just start and stop my shadow. I'm at the same distance away from this shirt that I was when I was painting the lettering. I'm just pulling the trigger back far less so that I'm not getting as much paint. I'm not, not, not a fan of that one, but I did it. There it is. Um, what's next? I lost my paper. Oh, it's, it's the last one over here. The last one over here. The college band, JSU. I don't know anything about that. Liv, again, you are late. What names am I writing? I'm writing, I'm doing an order right now. Am I doing the shirt? You're right, I should do the shirt for you, Liv, today. I'm not the best. Where'd my thing go? This is it, okay. There's one added on shirt, that's not with the rest. It's just N-A-A-I. Okay. Um, now, Honestly, this is gonna be the boring part of the day, guys. I just have to do the coloring on all this. And it's gonna be the same old thing over and over again. <laughs> Greetings to Mexico City. I will be right back. I, it's gonna be a while. Um, I'm gonna finish all of these before I do the, the shirt. I for, keep forgetting I can talk to you guys and look at you guys. I should do that more often. I'm tripping over a cord. While I'm here, I'm gonna do this. This is a different order, but I just have to do some text. This is actually the back of a shirt that I did yesterday on the stream, and I forgot there was a back. Um, I love my wife. Aw. Let's go. Add some purple to that, add pink and purple and yellow and blue to these, and it'll be fun. Let's do the blue first. I need to fill it up. What's up, blessed, talented guy you are? Thank you. I know that I am blessed. Top t-shirts. You must have caught cheating. Oh, must have got caught cheating. You have to wear this shirt for a week. Guys, I'm hyper today. I'm talking a lot today. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Let's. So, all of these get a blue outline. Airbrushes, got a booger in it. How much do shirts like these cost? Um, these were a group order, so they get them a little discounted. Uh, they probably got them around 15 bucks each. I forget exactly. 
um, all that comes through my website. I try to spend less time worrying about the sales side of things lately um, because I don't, I don't, well, I don't want to. So, like that. 25 depending on the design. Yes, that is a starting price, um, but there are discounts for group orders, which these guys got. These are relatively simple shirts. The script text is much faster than the graffiti style text that I do. That I do. What does that exacto knife trick do when you stick it in the bottle? What I'm doing there is, that's not actually an exacto knife, it's just a little poker tool. When I shake up the paint, um, there's a hole in the top here because I'll start over. When I, when I spray paint, si paint is siphoned up through the tube out the front. If I don't have a hole here, then there's gonna create a vacuum inside this bottle. So there's a hole on top for airflow. This plugs the hole so that I can shake it without making a mess. Simple as that. Um, what company do I prefer paint from? There's a couple of them that I really like. Cre Createx is good. That's what I'm using mostly now, but I like. Aquaflow is good. ETAC is really good. Um, Spectratex is good too. Really, airbrush paint is pretty, um, all of it's pretty good. There's none of them I would really complain about. They are all a little bit different, so once you find one that you like, it's probably good to stick with that similar brand because um, they have their differences and not all of them are compatible with each other, if that makes sense. Some of the reducers that you would use for one paint would ruin a different brand of paint, so you don't want to um, mix some things. Depending on where you're located, you want to find a brand of paint that is easy to get for you. If you're in the U.S., you can get pretty much anything, but I know that other countries are have a hard time getting some paints. I still have a lot of clogging issues in here. Do you write with another font? I do. This is this is one of my fonts. It's the simplest one. Do you dilute your Createx? What do you say? How do I feel about Createx? This is Createx. Um, I like it. Uh, it's what I've used most of my career. I have been a little bit disappointed with the paints that I've gotten recently. Some of them, my black, for example, has been very, very thick. And I've, it's been like syrup coming out of the bottle. I've had to dilute it almost half and half with their 411 reducer. Um, but after diluting it, it works fine. It's been it's been great. The brand of paint that I've had the m most success with, that I like the best, is Aquaflow. But I'm having a hard time getting it, so I I probably can get it now. Back in the middle of this whole pandemic, it was really hard to find any paint, um, so I ordered a bunch of Createx paints because I could find that. I have no complaints about any of the paints. They all work great. Again, they're just, they all have differences. What paint would I recommend? Again, um, any paint that you can get. Uh, pick one and try it. Are these all my orders? Yes, these are all orders from my website. It's actually one big order in this case. Um, but yeah, most of what I'm painting here on live streams, most of what I'm painting is, is orders. Um, sometimes we do something fun, like that graffiti canvas I did the other day on Monday. That was just for fun. Did a giveaway on that. And actually, whoa, I almost broke something. I painted this Among Us character today. I showed it to the guys in the beginning. Um, I'm gonna do a, a video on it. I'm gonna edit an actual video instead of a long live, live stream. And we're gonna give that away on my Instagram channel, just for fun. This is still having issues. How am I? I'm good. I'm, I feel like I'm all over the place right now, but I'm good. I want to get these orders out so that I can edit that video that I was talking about. I want to get it up to you guys. My father is coming to my house Friday to help me renovate this whole studio. It's gonna be way nicer soon. I'm gonna have, see this studio was designed years ago without recording or streaming in mind. The new one is gonna be built 
almost primarily for streaming and recording, and it's going to be cool and have special lighting and a box, better, better acoustics. All of that. Multiple cameras set up. My Instagram is at Airbrush Customs. That is in the description of this video. Um, I would love to have it here, but I don't live in the U.S. You, a lot of it you can get online. I have again. I have an Amazon link to where you can, um, where you can buy everything you need. Pretty much anywhere. I think there was two compressors. One about or two questions. One about air compressors. Maybe it was what compressor I use or something. Um, I just have a big industrial Husky air compressor outside. I did use tiny ultra quiet air compressors, which works fine too. But when I'm streaming and whatnot, even that ultra quiet is, is annoying. So I got a big one, put it outside. That's my backup. Um, any air compressor works. You just need to spray about 35 PSI or more and it will do the job, no problem. What tip size am I using? This Omni 3000 actually comes with a 0.3. I don't want to say that. I don't know. It's either a 0.3 or a 0.5. It kind of feels like a 0.5. It's laying down paint fast. I, just, I honestly don't remember. This one's a little big, hanging off the side of the shirt. See, this is a mistake to me as an airbrush artist. It's like, oh man, I wish I kind of fit this in here. But I know for a fact from 40,000 shirts of experience that they're not going to be upset about that at all. They're going to be like, awesome, the shirt, the design's really big, and they're going to love it. So I'm not going to redo that or anything, even though I consider it a mistake. I ran out of room. I spaced it wrong. That is step one of all these. This is a different design. Back to the comment section. I want to start a business, sir. Please reply. I can't. I can't start a business for you. If you want to start a business, you gotta use your noggin. Approximately how many hours do I paint a day? About three hours on a, on a typical day. Music in the background. Yeah, I'll get you some music in a second. Do I make good money? How long is the stream? You guys ask a lot of questions, to be honest with you. I make pretty pretty good money. Um, pretty good money. Enough money to, to kind of pick and choose what orders I paint. Um, it definitely hasn't always been like that. It's been a struggle at the beginning where I would paint everything that anybody asked. Now I can kind of kind of spend a little more time doing videos and things that I want to do. This stream will probably be about 25, 30 more minutes or so. I'm only going to paint these and I'm done today. Where can I buy the full setup? Again, Liv, I'm not putting you on the tripod. You know what happened last time. Again, the full setup depends on what it is that you actually want to do. You can buy an airbrush kit and everything that you need on Amazon, including compressor, everything that you need. Um, if there's other stuff that you need, you're gonna have to explain what it is you want. But here's the thing, if you've never airbrushed before, your goal probably right now shouldn't be to start a business, it should be to learn how to airbrush. It's going to take you some practice and some experience before you're ready to start knocking out orders for customers. Um, this is not a marker that you draw on a shirt with. It takes, there's a learning curve to it. It's more like an instrument than a, a pencil. You have to learn how to use the thing first. But that said, anybody can learn it. You put your mind to it and get it done. You can make it happen. And I encourage you to give it a shot. I know you are kidding, Liv. What is the hardest thing to paint? For me, painting things like portraits is difficult because I'm not a portrait artist. Um, a lot of airbrushing is one of the best tools 
four portraits because you can get really smooth gradients and really fine detail and all of that. And there are some incredible airbrush portraits out there. I just personally don't have that skill set of portrait art. Do the shirts wash out? Any shirt that you have a design on will wash out, whether it's a digital printed shirt or a screen printed shirt. Um, the design always washes out a little bit. Sorry this is so loud. I feel like this is really loud. Um, airbrushing washes out a little faster than, than most, but if you take care of it, it will last for I have shirts that I painted 10 years ago that still look nice and bright and are fine. Lefty. Yes. Are my paints acrylic? They are. These are water-based airbrush acrylic paints. And the only difference between a regular acrylic craft paint and airbrush craft paint or airbrush paint is that these are just, just finer quality pigments, um, thinner. Um, the paint that comes through an airbrush has to be atomized, is what it's called, which means it has to be sprayed at a very fine mist, which means it has to be very, very consistent and very thin um, for it to come out of this tiny hole at an even spray pattern. So I guess it's just basic water-based acrylics, but they're, they're like, thin down premium type of acrylics or whatever. I don't know, I don't make paint. We're getting there. I need this purple color. What did I miss since I was late again? Nothing. I think you came in after I painted like two names and then we moved on. I buy everything online. Everything that I buy, I get online. Um, I can link some stores that I get it from, but really Amazon is a great place to get it. No, just, just do a, a basic Google search for airbrush equipment or airbrush paint or whatever it is you're looking for, and I promise you the internet will provide to you an answer. I've never, I've never bought airbrush stuff from a physical walk-in store. It's not true, I bought one airbrush at the very beginning, um, but that was 10 years ago. Ouch. Just adding a little bit of shadowing and put some, some nice fluorescent yellow in the middle of this in this white area and they're gonna make that pop color pop out and stand out really good this one again having some issues with my paint all of my airbrushes need a good uh, good uh, clean out I don't clean them usually they just sit there like this and I fix issues as they come up like little boogers and things but after a while they would do good to have a nice refresh a good soak in some alcohol I need some lubricant and it's got I can tell it's got dried paint all inside this chamber which is making everything feel real sticky I can't do it I gotta fix it all right we're fixing an airbrush I guess have I ever tried body paint I did um, kind of was invited to do body paint, there was a party. What was it? Was that some some restaurant club type of deal? And uh, they were doing like a glow black light party, and they I knew the guy that owned the place, and they invited me up, and I did some some body paint on their models. They were clothed and all of that, but 
Um, it was cool. It's very different. Painting on <laughs> that surface, painting on skin with airbrush paint is it's kind of difficult. Now, I, I wasn't using body paint. I was using these same acrylic paints, and I knew that they would wash off. They only needed it for like a couple of pictures to do it real quick. Um, I didn't get real elaborate with the designs. We were just throwing some stuff down real quick. But, yeah, I've tried it. Can't read the comments right now. They're way up there. I'm almost done. Just doing a quick, messy clean, hopefully enough to get just the outline on this other shirt real quick. I still feel a lot of paint in there, but I think it'll be okay. It's fine. That'll work. All the equipment and airbrush online stores I checked are almost out of everything. That's true. Um, that's just happening. COVID is removing everybody's stock and supply. It's kind of frustrating. No, it's very frustrating. That's why I had to shut down my ideas for a supply store, at least for the time being. Cool. Awesome. I'm out of paint. Um, Yeah, it's, it's been a hassle. That's why I've, I've got a different brand of paint every week and I'm checking out these master airbrushes and stuff instead of just using my typical ones. Um, I can't find Omnis anywhere. Come on. See, part of airbrushing is you run into issues like this all the time. And it can be really frustrating if you don't understand how the airbrush works and you don't have some experience. Because right now, my paint isn't spraying very well. And I could say, hey, my paint isn't thin enough, or maybe my airbrush is dirty, or maybe my bottle's got a clog in it, or whatever else. There's a lot of things that could go wrong all the time. And problem solving can get real frustrating if you're not good at using your noggin to figure out what must be wrong. Which is why people give up on airbrushing so quick, because they run into some issues and they think that they got the wrong equipment or something, and really they just aren't experienced enough to fix normal problems. Have a good day at school, Paper Smith. How do you like the master airbrush? I did the video, hey Rainbow, I did the video on that. Um, it's on the the, the, the YouTube thing is sitting right there. I was actually really pleasantly surprised. It worked out pretty good. I was able to get the same level of detail, almost the same level of detail that I get with these Omnis. I could certainly fulfill these orders. I could paint these no problem with it. Um, if you're a beginner or even if you just want to have another couple cheap airbrushes, the Master was was really good. It was, I was Again, I was pretty impressed. I can't speak on its longevity and durability because I've only had it for a little bit, um, but for 35 bucks, it did the job very well. What kind of paint are you using? What brand? I'm using Createx paint. All about air pressure and needle size. That, that's a big factor, yeah. Um, as well as your paint consistency and the surface that you're painting on. Also, every color, even, even in the same brand of paint, every color acts a little bit differently. How much will it cost to paint a t-shirt? Oh, you mean how much do I charge for a t-shirt or how much does it cost? To paint. That's a good question. Um, there's probably about 15 cents, 25 cents worth of paint on each shirt. So if you're actually an airbrush artist and you're thinking about cost, um, the paint cost is pretty much insignificant. 
it's expensive up front when you buy a big bottle of it, but you're not using a lot per shirt or anything. If you're asking how much airbrush shirts cost um, for me to make them for you, the answer is they start at $25 individually. Um, it, and I have group discounts. This guy ordered a bulk of them, so he gets a, a group discount on those. I do have a shop. I do all this online. All these are orders from my online store. Links are in the description and, and the things. Thank you, Liv. My purple shirt. You like my purple shirt? Um, but that's not why I'm here on YouTube. I'm not here to get more t-shirt sales. I'm here to be a content creator. So if you want to buy a t-shirt, absolutely go ahead. I'll be happy to make you one. Um, but I don't, I don't know what this means practically for you guys, but I'm, I'm here to, to make videos, not to try to sell more t-shirts. I want to be able to paint what I want to paint. I want to paint more canvases. I want to paint more Among Us t-shirts and then give them away like I am. I want to paint more graffiti alphabets and give them away here's a couple that i did you guys probably have seen some of these this one's upside down these are fun this is what i like to do and that's why i'm here to do them and show you guys what i do and these are great they pay the bills but they're not just the same old thing over and over again Purple is my favorite color, of course. Do you think I could be successful? I am 12. I think you can be successful. It doesn't matter how old you are. It matters how skilled you are and how intelligent you are. If you have an entrepreneurial mindset and you have a problem-solving mind and you know how to look up information on your own when you have a problem and you have a willingness to work hard try and try again and make mistakes and still try again, then yes, you absolutely can be successful. First thing you need to do is get good at something. Don't worry about making a business unless you have a skill yet. Um, and if you're 12 years old, you don't need to be worrying about making a business yet. You should be just practicing and trying. Grab an airbrush kit, say that's what you want for Christmas. Go to my, my Amazon link to, to get it all set up and watch my videos and I'll teach you how to use it and just practice and play with it and have fun. Once you're confident, once you start getting comfortable and you make artwork that you want to make, then I promise you, you will find people that want to buy it. It's really easy to start up an Etsy store and offer your products. It's much harder for you to find people that want to buy them if you aren't good at making them, you know? If I didn't have a platform, if I didn't have a website, if I had nobody following me right now, and I just had airbrush skill, the first thing I would do is open up an Instagram account and I would start posting my work all the time. And I would open up an Etsy account and have stuff for sale and just, it would take some time. I would not be getting sales quickly, but eventually you'll start to grow. Anytime you're starting a new business, word of mouth is the best thing. You're not going to pay for ads to get sales. You're not going to get on the top of Google by yourself anymore. I was able to do that a long time ago, and nowadays to get that from scratch would be impossible. Um, what you need is real people, real people that are your fans. They care about what you do because you're not the only airbrush artist in the world or whatever it is you do, you're not the only person. There's plenty of business to go around, but you have to find people that care about you personally to get them to buy it. Sorry, I have to catch up here, it's a lot. Do I paint cars? No. Um, I would like to, I just haven't. How is your son? How old is my son? My son is two and a half. Hey, get on TikTok, man. I do have TikTok. Um, I got 400,000-ish followers on TikTok. Don't worry about buying a house and getting a job. Don't worry about those things. You are 13 years old. 
have fun, learn something. If you're 13, you have no responsibilities, you have no obligations right now. You might have some, but what you should be doing right now is finding something that you love doing and getting good at it. If it's airbrushing, do that. If it's art or music, if it's drawing pictures, if it's writing songs, well, I don't know what it is you wanna do. Find your hobby and get good at it. And once you get good at it, everything else will come into place. Do what you love doing. Yes, TikTok is great for short content. That's what drives a lot of traffic to everywhere. Glad you like my Alunga shirt. Does he like playing with blocks? He is really good at stacking blocks. He made a, I can't, he's good at blocks. He loves building. He builds airplanes with his Legos. Do I paint other colors of shirts other than white? I can, I usually don't because these are way faster. So black shirts take a lot longer, they take a lot more paint, and because of those things I have to charge more, and I don't like to charge a lot, I like to charge a little bit and paint for everybody, so I don't, I don't do black shirts, usually unless somebody asks for one. Yeah, you'll learn to make money, don't worry about money. Make some custom blocks, see that's one of those things, I could do that, but it would be a lot of, painting on blocks would be hard. Do I ever sell? The Omni 3000 airbrushes on my site, that goes back to the same thing I was talking about earlier. It's so hard to find any airbrush equipment lately that I can't make any promises. I can't, I'm not even focused on that supply shop right now because it's just, there's just nothing available to sell. So I'm focused on making content for you guys instead. Um, I have an Amazon affiliate link. So I make like a couple cents if you buy something through that link or whatever, and that's great. Um, I'll just, I'll just, I just want to help. I don't want to make a bunch of money off selling airbrush kits. I, the goal of that supply shop was to simplify. Getting into airbrushing is, is complicated. There's hundreds of different airbrushes. There's a bunch of different paint and pressures and everything else. And all these questions that I always get are proof of how complicated it is. That site was just to simplify everything. There was one airbrush for sale. There was one line of paint. It was one set of equipment. This is what you need to paint. And it didn't work out because I couldn't get the stuff in stock. Um, I still got a shelf full of, of hundreds of parts and things right there. But I did the same thing on Amazon. I went and I picked one airbrush and one set of bottles and one brand of paint and everything and showed you this is what you need to start airbrushing by these things. Here you go. Um, so that's, that's the point of that. Vega 2000s are great. Also, I have several of those. Those are what I got before I started doing Omnis. They're like Omnis little brothers. How do I base your order inventory ratio? I keep I keep white t-shirts in stock, unisex white t-shirts and some women's shirts in stock and some of the simple items in stock because I can, I've got three of the, I got, yeah, I got two more of these inside full of t-shirts. Um, things like hoodies and sweatshirts and bigger stuff, I just order as needed. Somebody places an order, I go online, I buy the thing, it comes to my house in the next day or two and I paint it. I can keep all the hats I want to in stock. I can keep all the sh basic t-shirts I need in stock, but I don't have a whole big inventory. Um, there's no need for all that. I wish Omni's had an extra air hole. What? Oh, and in the cap? That doesn't work. Yeah, because once one gets clogged, it gets messed up. No, these are Omnis. Like, you're talking about this? Or are you talking about the next one? Airhead design from yesterday. Yeah, I should make the airhead design. They do only have one air hole here. Is that what you're talking about? Thank you guys for the compliments. What PSI? I started around 35. The higher the PSI, the harder it is to control, typically. Um, 35 is a good base to start with. Dimensions from a Masonite boards. I won't email them to you, but I will write them down or I'll, I'll say them right now. You can write them down. Small boards are 18 and a half inches wide. Right now, everything is 32 inches tall. I like them being at a consistent height, even the different size boards. My mediums are short, but I would have painted them, made them higher. Um, because you paint at the same level on a shirt no matter what. So make them all the same height. Right now, I'm five foot six. 
my shelf is 32 inches high and my boards are 32 inches high. Again, small is 18 and a half. Medium is 22. And large is 25. And if I have a shirt bigger than that, I just use clips. I guess, let me do it. I promised Liv that I'd make her her shirt real quick. I'll do that. Actually, I'm, I'm just gonna paint the design. No. What am I doing? I'll just do the design for it, and then I'll put it on a shirt later. I have to, I have to get back to work, guys. Um, the rest of my shirts are not stuff that I want to stream because they're like personal RIP shirts and, and whatnots. But if anybody was here yesterday, they remember that Liv made a huge, terrible mistake. It made everybody dizzy. So now, your shirt's gonna look something like this. It's Liv. I can never spell your name right. You turn into Liz on me. My brain is so dumb. Go ahead and laugh at me. I'll do it again in a minute. <clears throat> Christmas stockings, that's a good idea. I should do Christmas stockings. Do, 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 do. You know what, I'll do it, I'll do it later. I'll, I'll just make you a shirt and send you a shirt. What size shirt are you? Um, and I'll even spell it right. I'll spell it right for you, just because, just because I care. <sighs> Guys, I need to, I need to get back to work. Um, again, I'm doing a video on this. I already painted it, obviously. I'm gonna edit the video and post it. It's gonna be a giveaway. I did this one too, but I didn't like it, so I redid the video. I was going for a glitch effect, but I was doing it really fast, and I, I've never done glitch before, and it was kind of dumb. Um, but. Might as well give everything away. I don't need it. Uh, I'm a medium, okay. I'll get you a medium. Let me write it down. I don't need to write it down. Yeah, guys, I'm done. I'm gonna get off of here. I'm sorry. I need to get the rest of my work done today. And I can't do that streaming today. So I'm gonna hop off. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys. It's so much fun to, to be able to talk to you guys while I work. I'm glad that I have people that care about working. These aren't impressive. I'm not, I don't know why I'm showing you these. Um, love you guys. I'm gonna hop off. Any final questions? Goodbye, 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 Dale. <sighs> Thank you guys. <laughs>